Now, now that we've said that, we can actually do a little bit of a revision to the supply curve in a perfectly competitive market and think about how the supply curve would look in the long run. And here, what we can imagine, and what we often do in economics is say, okay, well, let's suppose that that whole adjustment process to the long run quickly and readily takes place. Okay, and that we're only comparing sort of a long run equilibrium to another long run equilibrium. How would that long run supply in the marketplace turn out to be? Well, it turns out, like I said, that in the long run here, short run, firms exit or enter until the price is driven to minimum average cost on the left hand side. So we've got to end up with a price PE that minimizes average cost, and that's where the market equilibrium has to end up being. But notice, we have the supply curve upward sloping. That is a short run supply curve now. That's the supply curve we'd expect to arise before entry and exit of firms occur. But once we left the firms enter and exit, we end up with a supply function that's gonna look like this down here where we have a horizontal supply function, flat line supply, at the price that minimizes average cost. So this is minimum, I've got it here, at minimum average cost. So the price comes about at minimum average cost, and that's where the price has to end up all the time in the long run in a perfectly competitive market setting. So we get a market that looks like this, long run equilibrium price, is PE, it's gonna intersect the demand at some point, that's gonna generate a quantity Q sub E, and that's what the long run market is gonna look like. Now, once you draw a horizontal long run supply curve, SLR for short, once you draw that, now it's pretty cool because in that flat line, we have incorporated that entire adjustment story that we just told before because we're talking about where we're going to end up finally in a long run equilibrium has to be somewhere along that horizontal line. And so we can use that horizontal line to display the outcomes of supply, you know, in the long run. It's already, it's already got that story built into it. And, and that's pretty powerful diagrammatic technique that we can employ going forward, which we will. Got about a minute. Long run supply curve is horizontal price that minimizes average cost of production. Okay, that means that if a PC firm maximize profit and have perfect information again, important, then the invisible hand is going to result in a production of goods occurring at a scale, that means at a level of production, that lowers the unit cost to a minimum. Okay, average cost, unit costs. And by the way, I use this term sometimes, unit costs. Costs of one unit. That's an equivalent term to saying average cost of production of a particular good. Okay, so the cost per unit is the same as average cost. And sometimes it makes a little bit more sense because that's, you know, we're looking at what's the cost on average of a unit of a good? How much does it cost to produce this product? And how do we minimize it? How do we keep the cost at a minimum using as few economic resources as possible to produce what's being demanded by people in the economy? And what we're learning now is that a perfectly competitive market process can enable, can generate an outcome that has some very nice features. So we've talked about entry and exit. We've talked about a long run supply curve. We talked about when profits are gonna be made in the industry. We talked about how to derive a short run supply curve. And now we can make that distinction. I wanna emphasize again, anytime you see an upward sloping, positively sloped supply curve, it means that we're depicting a short run equilibrium in a perfectly competitive market setting. Okay, that's where that upward sloping supply curve comes from. If we wanna talk about long run and say, let's just look at equilibriums that will arise in the long run, then that upward sloping supply curve becomes a horizontal, again, at the level of minimum average costs of production.